<laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yes. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. For favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Okay, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Um, I remember a few years ago, New York City had a problem with a game called the Knockout Game. We had a few little punks. Most of them, well, a lot of them were black men, young black men, young teenagers, whatever. They were going around and knocking out people. A lot of them were elderly people who were just walking the money in business. And next thing you know, you got a 17 year old cold cocking them. Boom. All right. I think a few people died. And, um, the mayor at the time, the Blasio kind of, uh, tightened up on the situation, but it looks like New York has rebranded himself. All right. Thanks to Mayor Adams. We have a brand. New York has a brand. And when people see it, it means something. We see there's a lot of problem with New York City. New York City is a dumpster fire. It's, uh, it's crime ridden. There's a lot of, um, new migrant workers that's around. It's the homeless population is going out of control. Um, and it smells like piss. It smells like straight <laughs> over there. All right. So now with the rebranded, they're back at it again. So all you liberals, especially you young women who are liberal minded and believe that, you know, the, uh, the criminals have a heart and you want to hug a thug and all that good stuff. You voted for. You know, lowering the police, um, presence around your neighborhood. You want to defund the police and all that good stuff. And now it's starting to come back to your front doors. All right. So we have this young lady here who's going to say something about the knockout game. You guys, I was literally just walking and a man came up and punched me in the face. Oh my God. It hurts so bad. I can't even talk. Literally, I fell to the ground, and now this giant goose egg is forming, and I'm like, oh my god, it looks so crazy. Yeah, yeah, now it's getting more and more, and they're just knocking out white women. And I was looking down, and I was looking at my phone, and like texting, and then out of nowhere, this man just came up and hit me in the face. I'm like actually in shock right now, I'm just like walking home because... What else do you do? But I just texted my friends being like, hi, I just got punched in the face. And then they sent me a TikTok of this other girl in New York who got punched in the face and she was looking at her phone. And I don't know if this is like a thing that's going around, but um, I guess if you're in New York right now and you're walking while looking at your phone, maybe don't do that. Uh-huh, here's another one right here. Here's another one. She's more... She got a good spirit about it, but you still got a nice shine on your face. I literally just got punched by some man on the sidewalk. He goes, sorry, and then punches me in the head. Holy f what the hell just happened? Oh my God. Now look at this one here. She's a Puerto Rican, I think, but nope, you're still gonna get it too. No woman is immune from this. Um, so I, I have fallen victim to uh, the, the um, men in New York City lifting an elbow or trying to punch innocent girls on the street. Meanwhile, we have Alvin Bragg, who is decriminalizing lots of uh, felonies to misdemeanors and let him right back on the streets. We have AG Letitia James chasing Donald Trump. Which is too male, too pale, and too stale. Too male, too pale, and 
Mayor Adams, who still likes to pose with celebrities. Okay. I think that he had a pose with P. Diddy recently, too. No. I'm not going to say nothing. But Mayor Adams likes to be around celebrities. He likes to do a lot of photo ops. While he's doing all that, the city's on fire. Okay. You want to defund the police? No problem. The city's on fire. You want you want to let squatters have rights? I don't know the law. Yeah, there's laws. You shouldn't be trying to steal my house. Yes, you are. How about that? A squatter standoff. A property owner confronts a group of people she says moved into her million dollar home in Queens. And our cameras were rolling as dozens of officers showed up. He's, no. he's got no documentation. It's just bills. So Adele, you're getting arrested right now? I'm being arrested. For what? For being, in house, my, for being in my own home. It's and not, not and house where's home. your lease? She's fighting the house. It's not her house anymore. My deed That's is current and legal. Arrested for unlawful eviction. She changed the locks on a man who claims he lives there. Matter of fact, this lady here, who was a homeowner, checking on, on her property, and she gets deleted, stuff in a duffel bag. We're going to begin with a manhunt for squatters suspected of killing a woman and then stuffing her body into a duffel bag. Police say the victim walked into the apartment in Kipps Bay last week, found the squatters in the living room, and that would be the last time anyone saw her alive again. Now, these two punks here were finally apprehended in Philadelphia. But that's another city that's about to go down, too. Philadelphia, you're a shithole, too. Now, I said this before about uh, mayors that happen to be black, that happen to be Democrat, and the crime is off the charts, especially if they have a police commissioner that is of color, too. New York City has this guy, Caban, over here. He's a Puerto Rican, but, you know, he's a police commissioner, and it still holds true. The crime is off the charts. It's a revolving door. You come in, you leave the next day. I remember I seen a video. I, I hope I could find it for this, uh, for this segment here. But this young lady was sitting here minding her business, waiting for the bus stop to come by. And a homeless man comes around with a, a brown paper bag. He takes his paper bag and smash it across the young lady's face and smush her. When she finally realized, she looks up and the bag was filled of poo. What? Okay. Now, they arrest the guy in the next following day. He was out again. The man assaulted another person with poo. I'm sorry. I'm from the old school, but that nigga had to get deleted. I'm sorry. If I had seen him in the streets, he would have to get deleted. He assaulted another person with poo. He went to jail, and the next day he was released. Human waste and someone spitting in your face, uh, you know, those are real signs of mental health issues. New York City. Okay, the criminals, the Democrats in that city have more rights than the taxpayers. I hope this is, I hope this is getting through to you guys. The squatters have rights more than the, the landlords, the landowners. The criminals have more rights than you folks. And you're still there. You're still paying taxes in New York. You're still obeying the law. You still don't have guns to protect your rights. Meanwhile, a criminal can uh, um, stake out a Verizon store and delete a police officer right in broad day. He's been apprehended, but in about four or five years, he's going to have his walking papers. Or he might post bail. This is New York City. We got to do better. We got to change it. But if you keep voting Democrat just because he's black, O'Shea Duke Jackson, and you want to believe that all black person are innocent or good intentions, O'Shea Duke Jackson will keep having this problem. No. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. 
hit the like, hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. Alright. Alright guys, till next time guys, I'll see you again. And all you Democrats, get off my lawn.